We're going to go over use of the EC probe and how to operate it. Uh, first, you take it out of the holder. It's going to have a black cap on the bottom, and you simply remove it like that. Okay. The next thing we want to do is take the, the probe out, and we're going to insert it in the bottom like that. And this where it gets a little tricky. You need to insert it all the way. Make sure that it fits all the way in there. There, just like that. I, I got it all the way in so it's flush on the front. And we could simply to turn it on, press the on button like that. And it should read as zero. Okay. And on the front of the probe, you'll see that it's got an R value, which is a resistivity measure of 1.82 at 73 degrees Fahrenheit and that was done to to test uh, uh, when we calibrated with the calibration solution and so you do not have to do that every time what we can do is insert the probe through the handle like that my finger at the bottom of the resistance uh, uh, measure like that and we're going to turn like that until we make contact and you see that I'm reading about a 1.71, 1.72 in the R value uh, that's written on the meter is 1.82, so we're very close within one tenth. And so that means that we're good to go. We don't need to recalibrate. Uh, it has a temp button, and we can use this temp button to do both soil temperature and air temperature. To check temperature, we can simply push the button and hold it till it stabilizes. If we need to re recalibrate, uh, we each of you should have received a uh, EC uh, standard water standard 1.41 decimeters. What we would do before we do that is make sure it's good and rinsed off, clean it off. Ideally, we, you would do this in room temperature. In this example, it was near 73 degrees. So we would take the, the top off of this and then we're going to hold it without touching the sides of the bottle. And if we need to recalibrate, what we would do is take the yellow screwdriver. In this case, we're reading about a 1.54. Uh, we're a little bit uh, below the 1.82, so we would take the screwdriver and we would actually insert it on the side and then turn it to make the adjustment uh, to to read exactly what what we would want a 1.41 in this case